up a bullet. And tonight we have details of an independent test done on the same make, model, and lot number of a vest that failed a Phoenix police officer back in November. CBS 5's Donna Rossi has been following the story. And Donna, the results caught some people off guard. Yeah, you know, I don't think they expected things to turn out exactly the way they did. It's one thing that back in November, a bullet went through the very bottom edge of an officer's vest. That's an area that manufacturers and national standards warn may be vulnerable. But it's something completely different when in a controlled setting, a bullet blasts right through the center of a vest that is designed and marketed to save lives. It's not a call a mother wants to get at 1 o'clock in the morning. And but it's a call that Lynn Daly got in November, telling her her police officer's son had been shot on duty and the bullet pierced his body armor. When I heard it uh, officially at the hospital that it went through the vest, I was very disturbed at that point. Officer Tony Daly and his parents were at the news conference today when it was announced that a vest, just like his, failed miserably in an independent safety test. There was one complete penetration of the vest and that projectile was not recovered. The test was done out of state yesterday. Police, union and city leaders wasted no time taking action. That officers that uh, chose to purchase this particular vest uh, can immediately get a different uh, vest, one that the plea is more, is, has more confidence in and they will be appropriately reimbursed. And we're going to make it right. Uh, one of the things that we do not compromise on is officer safety. Officer Daly hopes to return to work in another month. He did not feel comfortable commenting on the test results, but his mom said when she learned the news, her heart went into her stomach. My son was in the hospital for 15 days recuperating, and uh, I'm just thankful he's alive. The vests in question were made by Custom Armor Technologies. Now, that company is no longer in business. Bottom line, Phoenix wants their officers out of these vests, and the city is willing to pay to assure their safety. Same. Donna, thank you. This is potentially a deadly situation for officers, and we wanted to find out what 